Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 28th. So, we're just going to see whatever comes up. Remember that the timing is fluid. So, Queen of Wands. New, new vision. Somebody has a new vision, you know. A new approach. A new approach. If I can speak, we will be doing good. Um, a new excitement, you know. A new desire. It's like a new passion or a revival, you know. On fire. Very fiery personality. Vibrant. Very vibrant. Sunny. There you go. Well, it's kind of orange, so fiery. <laughs> mm. This is like a burning desire to me. Somebody has a burning desire. And they may not even be aware of it. I'm not sure. I mean, the judgment reversed. Hmm. Somebody may be hiding something. Yeah, somebody may be hiding something. It's like she's walking, she's walking along on fire. What is she walking into anyway? <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, somebody could be walking into something pretty good. But there's a conflict along the way. This person may not even be aware of what they are walking into. <laughs> Seriously. You know this is a burning desire right sometimes when you have a burning desire you can tend to not see things clearly you may not be totally aware of the dangers ahead I just gotta tell you I mean I'm not trying to shut anybody down but you know you got to be careful you do got to be careful you gotta be careful about the, the judgment calls that you make don't let your desires that are inside of you, you know, hinder your ability to think clearly. All right? You don't want to be biting off more than you can chew. That's what I'm trying to say. Be careful where you plant your seeds, right? You know, because this says be careful. Just be careful. There could be some conflict in whatever it is that you're walking into. You know, it could lead to a partnership because somebody's going through some sort of recovery. You know, emotional recovery where, you know, things are starting to get better and I'm starting to shine again. You know, I'm starting to feel really good about myself. Somebody is starting to just, you know, feel really, really good about where they're at. You know, very confident, high self-esteem, just going, you know, on a roll. I'm just going for it, you know. Got this new burning desire to head out and take a new adventure and, you know, let the worries go. You know, I'm just going to let these worries, leave these worries behind. I'm going to 
travel. I'm going to travel the world or I'm going to just do whatever. I'm going to just go. I'm just going to expand my horizons, you know, and move, travel. It's like somebody is deciding to just, you know, maybe perhaps go on their own. I don't know. You know, somebody's got this newfound desire, passion to, to go ahead with something, but it could get halted real fast. It could get stopped right in its tracks because, you know, maybe, maybe there's not enough abundance there yet. Maybe there's not enough money. Maybe there's not enough, um, maybe it's not time. Maybe you still have a little bit more work to do. Um, be careful with your thoughts. Are you seeing everything clearly? I mean, are you seeing everything clearly? Is, is it time? Is it time to not pay attention? I mean, cause this can be no offense. I mean, this is beautiful. It really is. I mean, but you gotta, you gotta think about, are you going to get yourself stuck in a predicament? Are you going to be, you know? Be careful is what I'm trying to say. Be careful because are you seeing things clearly with both of these cards? Are you, are you really seeing things clearly? Are you just trying to mask some sort of pain in some way by, I don't know what, why would you do that? To get unstuck from something. It's like... To change your focus, you know, you may be trying to change your focus. You got to do what you got to do, right? You got to do what you got to do to recover. So somebody's trying to recover from a painful situation. They've, they've got this new uh, vibration, put it that way, you know, and it's like in order for me to get rid of all this negative energy, I'm just going to have to move forward without really planning right I just gotta do it I just gotta do it but it looks like this person is headed into you know this person is headed in a new direction a, a big 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 new direction that is helping them to recover from the from the memory so somebody is making a big move in a new direction to release painful memories of the past. Somebody's deciding to, I think, move, like plan a move, like really move, like I'm going to go, I'm going to go someplace else. This isn't growing. This isn't working for me. I'm, I'm traveling. I'm moving. I'm moving. I think that somebody is planning a move. This is what this is about. A big move. It's time for my new adventure. You know, I've, I've, I'm, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm taking, somebody is, somebody is moving away from a situation where there's no more growth. For real. I mean, like moving house, like moving maybe to a different spot in the world, you know, a different location, like a big locate, big location change here. Because they want, they want to have victory and success and they want to heal over this emotional hurt. It's like I know that the world is big and that I have multiple opportunities and in order for me to, do, to get over the, these memories of the past, I have to block the past out and to truly move forward, I got to literally move. So I think that somebody has this burning desire to make a bold, big move and that's what's in the works right here. That's what I see. But this is be careful. Be careful because, I mean, the Page of Swords, that's somebody's, somebody that's observation or conflicts, the Page of Swords reversed. It's like, you got to have, and it's all, this could be you. It's, you know, can you walk the walk or, is you, or can you just talk the talk? It's either, you know, what is it going to be? That's why this card is here. You're going to have to keep that confidence. You're going to have to keep that self-esteem. And you're going to have to continue to push through. Own up to the words. Own up to the ideas that you make. 
and somebody has this bold idea, you know, this bright idea to just broaden their horizons and take this adventure. I've got, I've got this burning desire to make a big, bold move. Now you got to follow through. And I said, be careful. I said, be careful about biting off more than you can chew. Do you realize whatever this is that you're going to have to release? You're going to have to make, you know, you're going to have to leave behind things that don't serve you. But anyway, anyway, what I, what I see is that somebody is finding the mental strength to face opposition and make a big, bold, bold, bold move away from a past situation that fell out, okay? I think whoever, there's like a emotional shutdown and sometimes there's emotional shutdown or, or emotional withdrawal so that somebody can heal. Sometimes that's what they have to do. Sometimes they have to retreat to heal. And I think that's what I, ha I have here. I think somebody is retreating to heal. And um, I think it involves a move. It, 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 it does. And I, what I think is going to happen is it's going to bring two people together in the end. It's, it's going to bring it. It's going to bring two people together. Yeah, somebody's taking, going on a new journey by themselves, leaving the past behind. Just, just deciding that. I'm ready. I'm ready to start over again in a completely new spot where I have never been. No fear. That's what I see. Somebody is, is really moving to a better place. And it's because they got this new vision that the best way for me to let go of this past is to move. I have to move. Somebody's planning a move. A big one. And it's away from somebody who is emotionally withdrawn. Somebody has decided that it's just it's time. It's time to take a risk and it's time to have faith and it's time to step out. Step out of this space where I've been stuck. Somebody's literally like breaking free, like totally. But you got to remember during this move, you're going to have to have a lot of discipline. Somebody is deciding, they are replacing their fear. Somebody is replacing their fear and they're taking that leap. And it's a big leap, it is. It's a transformational time because one phase is ending, okay, with the world cards. It's like, well, something big, it's big, it's big. Somebody is moving very quickly in the right direction towards a new life, like a brand new life. When you have the fool in the world this close, one phase of your life has ended and a new one is beginning and it's a new it's a new place. I mean a really it's a new place. It's some place you have never been before. It's like whether you're stay staying right where you're at, it's still it's like it's a brand new view. But for many of you, it's a change in home, it's a change in residence, okay? This is a residence, it is, and it's a completion, and, and this is, it is. For mo the majority, this is a change in residence, I have to tell you. But the world card, the ten of pentacles, the fool, the chariot, absolutely. Somebody knows in, that, that in order to find balance and harmony, they have to move. They have to, they have to really like move. Moving is big. This reading is all about moving. Yeah, it's like learning new things, seeing new places, starting over. Absolutely. Definitely starting over. So I think this day is a day of making a judgment call as to where you want to go next.
but the judgment reversed is, is lack of awareness or lack of, uh, you know, it's self-doubt. Those are thoughts, okay? Don't let your doubts get in the way. I mean, the queen of wands, she's the most, she's the strongest queen. And whoever this is, they have a, they have the strength to bring success and be successful with this new chapter. They, the, the last chapter is over. It's over. Whatever it is, it's done. Don't let your own negative thoughts, your own bad habits hinder you, okay, from success. Those are just bad thoughts and bad habits and negative thinking. I see a completion here that a completion of staying stuck wherever you're at. It's over. It's over. Somebody is deciding to broaden their horizons in a big way and start over in some direction there where they have never been. Starting completely over. New life. Don't, you are strong. Remember I told you somebody doesn't know how strong they are. It takes courage. It takes courage and confidence and willpower and discipline to face your fears. And somebody is having these opposing thoughts. You know, I want to go. I have this desire. This is what I want, but I'm kind of afraid to do it. Those are just negative thoughts. You have the skills, the knowledge to do, to, to, to make anything work. Anyway, somebody needed to hear that. I don't know who. Somebody is starting over in a new direction. And it's leaving the past behind because this is moving. At, it's after. It's leaving. It's blocking. And they're doing it to block the past. This fool that is starting over isn't really a fool. Because this fool is leaving the past behind and looking at a brand new opportunity and it's a pretty big one and it leads to more it leads it leads to victory and success and i think that this person that is deciding to leave the past behind knows that but they have to let go of their fears and find the mental discipline to keep going, keep going. What else we get? So somebody needed to hear that. Somebody needed to hear that they have an opportunity waiting for them. When they take that leap of faith, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity that will be offered when you take that leap of faith. Whew. But, of course there's a but. Somebody might not be happy about the decision that you make. You know, because sometimes you got to follow your own path. And other people, you know, might not like it. They might get frustrated. They might think that this is not the right time. They might think that they can't do it without you. But like I always say, true suffering brings true growth.
wherever somebody's been at, there hasn't been any harmony. Things have been a little, there's been some tension. There's been arguing. There's been lack of compromise. People saying we can't work together. And it's making somebody feel almost sick, look sick. And it's like somebody is like, I have to go. I have to go. Because this hurts me too. It hurts me too. Somebody is moving very quickly in a new direction because that's what they have to do for them. I gotta go by myself. I gotta, I gotta take care of me. Somebody has decided that it's time. It's time to step back and focus on myself right now. In order to do that, I'm going to have to go my own way. So somebody is making a decision to leave a situation and go their own way. And it looks like moving, literally location, is very prominent here. And in the end, it does lead to victory and success with that world card and the chariot card, both of them. There is, this is going to end in victory. Because somebody finds that mental strength and discipline to take the lead in their own life, to be the boss of their own life. To step outside of their comfort zone in which they have been trapped in and it's been negatively controlling them. Somebody is now deciding, I have to withdraw. I have to withdraw. And I have to block this. And the best way for me to block this is to move. So I see that somebody is taking that step over the edge. And headed right into <laughs> the next chapter. Okay? Oh, I just cut the deck. Absolutely. Endings bring new beginnings. It's a time of transformation. It's a time of release. And it's, and it's a time of transition. Somebody is walking away from a dead-end situation to begin again. What more can I say? I'm doing it because I love myself. And I'm doing it because I want true love. Somebody has been enlightened. It's all about love. In order to get this love, I'm going to have to step away. To live again. Good luck.